magic mugs because a very smart person told me once that you should always give away your tricks. Maybe it was something else. Anyway, what a magic mug is, is it's a cheat it's a it's an upside down cheesecake in a mug that you then tip out and it's like a tower. I hope. I haven't actually tried this yet. It's a little more complicated than our normal stuff, but there's absolutely no heat, so it's a trade-off. No microwave, no oven, no stove, so you can't burn yourself. Some people might still find a way to hurt themselves. So get some room temperature cream cheese and some sugar. And we have to beat this until it's creamy. Now, you could use a whisk, you could use a spatula, but I'm lazy and I have one of these. Looks pretty creamy to me. Now, we have to add some things. Some vanilla. Some lemon juice. Some powdered sugar. Now, a lot of people won't have powdered sugar, but I said this recipe was a little bit more complicated, so. And this guy is some sour cream. Okay, so that's most of our filling. There's only one step left, but I forgot to prep our mug, so we're gonna do that now, and we should have done that first. This is a mug. It says A, clearly for a mug cheesecake. We gotta do some art. So first thing, then get a piece of parchment paper that's about the size of the bottom of the mug and just put it in. Now, get some more parchment paper, make a little tube, slap a paper clip on there, optional, and then just slot that in. Yeah. Now cheesecakes normally have crusts, right? And you're like, well, how the heck are we gonna make an upside down cheesecake mug cake without a crust? Aaron, what are you doing? Ye of little faith. We have the king of cookies. Just get a whole one and drop it. You have to break it up a little bit. So I use the back of a spoon. You can use whatever you want. I might have given it too many good whacks. I'm too good at whacking. Now we can get to the last part of this. We're gonna whip some cream. Perfect! So we've made whipped cream. I'll do some conversions and find out if you just wanna buy whipped cream, how much you need to use for you more lazy people. So this is a no-bake cheesecake, no eggs. That's too hard. We need to get this whipped cream folded into here, but you have to be super gentle because we wanna keep the floofiness. Probably could have whipped this a little bit longer. Oh well. It's what it's. Be really gentle. You don't want to deflate any cream dreams. Dick. So we're almost done mixing. And you might be thinking, Erin, how do you know that? Because I do. When I said there was one last thing, I was lying. There is one more thing. Get another Oreo. And do that. And mix. Still be gentle. Now get your mug. Get a spoon. Start dolloping this in there. Don't rush. Take your time. Nobody's gonna die. Mm. Once your mug is full, we got a few more arts and crafts to do. Ditch the paper clip and snip the top of your parchment paper. Give it a little press down around the edges. Then. Now, oh dear. Nice tight layer of plastic wrap. You're off to the fridge for 12 hours, overnight, two days. Doesn't matter to me, it just has to go in the fridge for a while. What the heck, man? No time has passed and that's a different mug. What? So once time has passed, or magic of cooking shows, get your mug out, okay? Unwrap the parchment at the top. I really hope this works. Plate, upside down. Shucks. And then just unwrap, peel back the parchment, and you are left with a mile-high magic mug of delicious. And yep, that close-up was different because I shot it tomorrow with the other one that we made today. Ah! Wow, it's so... <laughs> I love this. 
But if it tastes like crap, none of that work was worth it. It doesn't taste like crap. Mm. I love cheesecake just in general. And I find this super fun. Anyway. This is lovely for anybody who's not lactose intolerant. And if you are lactose intolerant, that's why they invented dairy digestive aids. I'm gonna go share this with my roommates. If you're feeling adventurous and you wanna do something a little more time intensive, try this. You don't have to use Oreos, use strawberries and, and graham crackers or digestive biscuits or, I don't know, maybe I'll do another one. It'll be in the cookbook. That's all I got. See you later. In two weeks, follow me on Instagram at Eric's Bakery. You've heard this spiel. Go cook!